Uh, good morning, and uh, thank you for uh, coming to uh, today's uh, important announcement uh, and press conference. I am joined um, here with uh, Chief County Detective Michael Gumbar, Reading Police Chief Andres Dominguez, Deputy Reading Police Department Chief James Morasco, Captain Crystal Turner Childs of the Pennsylvania State Police, Trooper David Bame of the Pennsylvania State Police, and Lieutenant Scott Brennan of the Pennsylvania State Police. I want to uh, first thank all of the police departments who participated in this investigation. Um, they are represented up here up front, but there were many other police departments that also participated. Um, that this investigation took a lot of hard work, a lot of man hours, and without the contributions of many of the municipal police departments in Berks County, today's investigation uh, that we announce uh, was extremely successful as a result of all of the police departments in Berks County, the Pennsylvania State Police, Reading Police Department, and the, FBI, and the Federal Bureau of Investigation that made this investigation very, very successful. Today, I am proud to announce the arrest of 12 defendants who were operating a violent drug trafficking organization in Berks County. These, uh, we have warrants for uh, approximately four other individuals who have not been pl placed into custody as we speak, but these 16 individuals, these 12 individuals were arrested yesterday in the early morning hours. Over 100 law enforcement officers from Berks County participated in this roundup, and again, I have to thank all those police departments because this was only a success because of the contributions from the departments represented here, but many other departments throughout Berks County. These defendants are charged with criminal attempt, solicitation and conspiracy to commit murder of the first degree, delivery of a controlled substance, including heroin, cocaine, methamphetamine, synthetic cannabinoids, and marijuana, dealing in proceeds of unlawful activity, corrupt organization, criminal use of communication facility. The arrest warrants were issued by Magisterial District Justice Sandra Fegley. This investigation be was initiated in September of 2017 after detectives from the Berks County District Attorney's Office and investigators from the City of Reading Police Department learned of a violent drug trafficking organization operating in Berks County. Detectives and investigators from both agencies joined efforts with the Pennsylvania State Police and the Federal Bureau of Investigation in a collaborative effort to dismantle this drug trafficking organization. During the investigation, law enforcement utilized all investigative means and tools at their disposal, including physical and electronic surveillance. As a result, the investigation revealed that members of this drug trafficking organization conspired with others to distribute illegal drugs throughout Berks County and beyond. Detectives discovered the members of the drug trafficking organization utilized extreme violence, including assaults, shootings, and witness intimidation as a method to maintain and gain status within the drug culture and eliminate potential threats. I think it goes without saying that this was the most violent organization that we have seen in this county for many, many years. And uh, that is what makes this investigation so important. The investigation centered around Jesus Feliciano Trinidad, a.k.a. Chewy or Chowie, but he has, as the investigation progressed, 
Other suspects were quickly identified. Detectives developed probable cause, which allowed me to make application to the Pennsylvania Superior Court to authorize the utilization of electronic surveillance on members of this drug trafficking organization. Once authorized, the investigation continued for a span of approximately 30 days until enforcement operations began yesterday and is still continuing. Yesterday morning, in the early morning hours, the enforcement part of this investigation took place during the snowstorm. During the investigation, detectives identified 20 individuals that were active members of this organization. Jesus Feliciano Trinidad was identified as the leader of this organization. During the past 30 days, this individual plotted with other members of the, dr of the drug trafficking organization to murder five victims on five different occasions. We were able to stop those ho homicides. In the first incident, on February 25th, 2018, Feliciano Trinidad planned to murder a rival drug dealer at a location in the 500 block of Moss Street, Reading, Berks County, Pennsylvania. This plan was thwarted when detectives immediately secured the residence <clears throat> and served a search warrant that morning before Feliciano Trinidad could carry out his act of violence. As a result of, this, of the search warrant, four rival drug dealers were arrested inside the residence. Detectives seized approximately 200 packets of heroin, money believed to be the proceeds from sales and drug paraphernalia associated with the distribution of drugs. Incident number two, on February 27, 2018, Feliciano Trinidad planned to murder the brother of the aforementioned rival drug dealer at a location in the area of Elm and Moss Streets. The plan was stopped when uniformed Reading police officers established a presence at that location. Subsequently, Feliciano Trinidad, along with four others, were stopped operating a vehicle in the 100 block of South 3rd Street, Reading, Berks County, Pennsylvania. Detectives seized the vehicle after finding a gun under the front passenger seat. Later, detectives involved in this investigation obtained a search warrant for the vehicle and seized three fully loaded handguns which were located inside a hidden trap in this vehicle. After further investigation, detectives determined that Feliciano Trinidad, along with two of the passengers, Richie Rivera and Duane Quinones, conspired to commit the act of violence against the brother of a rival gang member. Incident number three. On February 27, 2018, Feliciano Trinidad planned to murder an unidentified victim at a location at the 300 block of South 8th Street, Reading, Berks County, Pennsylvania. Feliciano Trinidad and three other individuals proceeded to that location in a vehicle. Detectives immediately took action and stopped the vehicle in the 200 block of South 9th Street before the vehicle could vehicle could reach its targeted destination. Subsequently, detectives seized the vehicle and later served a search warrant on that vehicle. Further investigation revealed that Feliciano Trinidad planned to commit this act of violence along with a co-defendant, Freddie Lee, and co-defendant Sharon Melendez Ortiz. Incident number four, took place on March 3rd, 2018. During the course of the electronic surveillance, detectives in intercepted a conversation between Feliciano Trinidad and an unidentified individual. During that conversation, conversation, Feliciano Trinidad planned and conspired with the unknown individual to murder a victim 
at this time unknown for investigative purposes. Fifth incident took place on March 16, 2018. Again, Feliciano Trinidad had a phone conversation with one of the members of his organization. During that conversation, Feliciano Trinidad ordered him to bring a firearm to the area of 11th and Franklin Street in the city of Reading for the purpose of committing a violent act. Shortly after the phone call, surveillance detectives observed an unknown male, later identified as Jamie Perez Cruz, exit 34 South 11th Street and walk toward 11th and Franklin Streets. Detectives immediately stopped Perez Cruz before reaching his destination. He was going to meet with Feliciano Trinidad. They searched him for weapons and found a fully loaded 9 millimeter handgun. Uh, Perez Cruz was arrested and charged with firearm offenses. <clears throat> On March 20th, 2018, sealed search warrants were signed by a judge in, of the, a member of the Berks County Court of Common Pleas. These search warrants were for searches at the following locations. 318 Wood Street, 542 South 11th Street, 34 South 11th Street, first floor apartment. And this location at 34 South 11th Street was a location where drugs were sold, essentially it was a street location where drugs were sold at all times, all hours of the night. 329 Lombard Street, 2188 D Elder Street, 316 North Knight Street, 329 Constitution Way, 333 Constitution Way, 124 Buttonwood Street, second floor apartment, 304 South 6th Street, second floor apartment, and 330 South 10th Street. All of these locations were in the city of Reading. During the search warrant, the following items were seized from the aforementioned location. 470 grams of heroin fentanyl uh, with a potential street value of over $140,000. 150 grams of cocaine, potential street value of $15,000. 2,485 grams of methamphetamine, potential street value of $248,000. 325 oxycodone pills, potential street value of $6,500. 40 packets of synthetic cannabinoids, potential street value of $400. 21 firearms. And I think that uh, one thing that sets this investigation out differently from many other investigations that this that we have all participated in is the amount of firearms that were confiscated during this investigation. And of those uh, firearms, I think at least five were firearms that uh, could, uh, they were uh, located there. Uh, they were uh, rifles. Uh, which could constitute uh, some of our AK-47s or some other semi-automatic uh, rifles, which are extremely dangerous. Uh, these firearms will all be processed to determine if they were involved in any other criminal activity that has taken place within the last 6 to 12 months or any other time in the city of Reading or Berks County or any other location. We, have tip, we also confiscated $19,862 in U.S. currency, drug-related drug paraphernalia, which is associated with the distribution of large amounts of drugs, including some presses, scales, and various other drug paraphernalia, which is involved with the distribution 
of drugs throughout our community. We also confiscated one ballistic bulletproof vest. <clears throat> the following, as a result of the search warrants, the following individuals were arrested and taken into custody yesterday. Jesus Feliciano Trinidad, Freddie Lee, who was considered the supplier of the drugs to this organization, Sharon Melendez Ortiz, Yomar Velasquez Figueroa, Fitzgerald Rios, Jamie Perez Cruz, Mariello Alvarado, Giselo Mendez, Julio Caceres Gute, Miguel Vega Menendez, Linton Cabrera, Jean Reyes Burgos, Christian Garcia Ramos, Owen Malave Medina, Lisbeth Santiago Rodriguez. A number of other individuals uh, remain at large, and it is very, very important that they be apprehended. And we need the public to come forward to assist us in the apprehension of these individuals. If anyone knows their whereabouts, please contact either the Berks County District Attorney's Office Detective Unit, Pennsylvania State Police, or the Reading Police Department, or Crime Alert Berks County. Those individuals are Dwayne Quinones, AKA Ombre, Richie Rivera Jr., Luis De Jesus, Joshua Figueroa Rodriguez, and Richard Luciano. Those individuals, there are outstanding arrest warrants for, and they need to be apprehended. The individuals who were arrested were transported to the Sheriff's Central Processing Unit and arraigned before Magisterial District Justice Sandra Fegley. The bails, which were set in these cases, ranged from $1 million to $9 million. The bail for Jesus Feliciano Trinidad was $9 million. All of these individuals were committed to Berks County Jail. Again, if you have any information on their whereabouts, please contact Crime Alert Berks County or the Reading Police, Pennsylvania State Police, or the Berks County Detective Unit. The investigation was named Operation Shattered due to the multiple lives that had been affected from the violent drug trafficking organization. These individuals shattered the lives of many victims by their violent behavior and the distribution of their poisons into our community. In a span of 30 days, law enforcement officers at the local, state, and federal level joined forces to successfully dismantle and shatter this operation. We are confident today that their activities have been stopped and they will be aggressively prosecuted and justice will be served. This organization is responsible for a lot of the violence that has plagued this city in the last six to 12 months. We need the public and the citizens of the city of Reading or Berks County to come forward and provide information to us to help us gather sufficient evidence to hold those accountable for the other violent acts that they have committed, including murder, that have been committed in this city and in this county. Um, I also want to, at this point, uh, just make a, a few other comments. Um, during yesterday's uh, takedown, uh, we utilized the Berks County CERT team, Pennsylvania 
State Police CERT team. Um, and I think that we, some things that we learned in this investigation is that there may have been landlords out there who knowingly rented these properties to individuals involved in this operation and they knew that drugs would be sold from the properties that they own. We will investigate these allegations and forfeit these properties if we can substantiate those allegations. Um, at this point, I would like to uh, take this opportunity to uh, ask uh, the people who are standing with me if, um, to also uh, say some, a few words if they so choose. Uh, <clears throat> I've been a police officer for over 38 years, and I've had the opportunity to work with the federal, state, and the local municipal department. And let me tell you, there's nothing more rewarding or effective than having all of these agencies working together, and in this particular case, working together to attack a very dangerous drug trafficking organization, which is working out of the city of Reading. This was a major operation. We used up a lot of manpower and financial resources. But we had the full support of all the agencies involved, including the mayor and the administration of this city. And as the chief of the city of Reading, I really want to put out a special thanks to all the men and women of the Reading Police Department who worked long hours and were determined and motivated to break up this organization and put a serious dent to the opioid problem in our city um, and the surrounding area. We know that this does not end with the arrests and were made that were made and, and that will be made in the near future. Because of this, we'll be working many hours with the DA's office to ensure prosecution of all the defendants in this case. Again, special thanks to all the police officers that were involved in this. They put a lot of man hours in. They, um, all of them uh, risked their lives in several occasions. And, um, you know, we're going to be, re re you know, re we're reaping rewards because of the cooperation we all had together. So thank you to all of you. Thank you. Captain Turner Childs, Pennsylvania State Police. You know, we are the people that are standing behind this podium, but I want to make sure that we recognize those investigators that did the hard work in over 30 days and were out there day and night ensuring that we can give a little bit more safety to the citizens of Reading. Uh, it has been an honor to be uh, a member of this team, uh, hoping that in the future that we can send a clear message that this is not the place that you want to deal your drugs. You see the team back here, and there's some people that are on this team that you don't see. And certainly, uh, we're going to be here, and we're going to continue fighting. Thank you. I'd also uh, like to take this opportunity to thank all of the members of law enforcement again that uh, contributed to the success of this operation. They worked very hard, countless hours. And I also have to thank our county commissioners who have given us the resources to be able to carry out an operation of this magnitude because, uh, and, and we hopefully have solved a lot of the violence that this city has been plagued with over the last six to 12 months as a result of uh, this operation. But uh, I am thankful again that our county commissioners have given my office the resources to carry out these operations. So thank you. And uh, at this point, um, I will be happy to open up this uh, press conference for any questions that you may have.